Damian Jackson, the man from Nebraska football, five-year starter, well, not a five-year starter, but five-year member of the team there. You started in 2017. You transfer to UB in your extra year of, of eligibility due to COVID. So why come to UB? Um, it was really just connections through uh, staff to staff. So the old strength staff at Nebraska knew of Coach Mo. They used to work with him. So it was before I even got in the transfer portal, it was me just asking around with the coaches and seeing if uh, there was places that I could go so I wouldn't have too much trouble in the portal. And uh, it was through those connections, through them too, that led me to go to Buffalo. All right, and you didn't just come in at Nebraska out of high school. You're actually a 30-year-old. You're a former Navy SEAL. So you're kind of like a Nate Boyer in a way. Describe your journey, how you got to where you are today. Oh uh, Yeah, so uh, after high school, I did go into the military. Spent six years there. And about year five in the military, I decided I wanted to get out and pursue uh, college. And I also wanted to play a sport before, uh, before I got out. And I was too late, you know, being too old. So I got out at 24, walked on to Nebraska. Uh, luckily, they uh, let me walk on there in the first place. So uh, got on there, and I was took me a while, but you know, after three years, and I finally got some playing time. And then after that, I really wanted to pursue the NFL. So I wanted to get as much film as I could. So I decided to transfer to Buffalo. And that's kind of how it all ended up. All right, and now you're listed on the roster as a defensive end, but I like to call you more like a situational pass rusher. So. You're practicing long snapping. Do you think this is going to improve your draft stock? Uh, yeah, so uh, being the age that I am, I think uh, special teams and long snapping is really going to be a, a good avenue for me to pursue. Uh, you know, if I could make it on defense, that'd be great, but I really see myself just being a specialist, you know, all four special teams, and maybe if they want me long snapping, just kind of do it all right there, and uh, that'd be great. All right, and you never actually long snapped in a game, so talk about your long snapping journey, how you picked it up, and how it's progressed over the years. Yeah, so once I got to Nebraska, you know, I never played college football, or I never played football in my life before I got to college. So uh, in order to get on the field, the quickest way seemed to be like just learn other other positions, and long snapping happened to be one of those positions. So I picked that up in the in the first year, kind of through YouTube. wasn't very good at it, but I've been working on it. Uh, ever since then, and then now. I haven't snapped in any games. I've been back up long snapper, but I've also played on defense the whole time, so I haven't really gotten my opportunity to, but uh, I believe I'm ready for it. And, uh, you know, I've been having people here, like Coach Sam Watts helped me, and uh, it's, been, it's been great to see how it goes. All right, and you just recently came off a bowl win with the Bulls, uh, the Camellia Bowl, 23 to 21 over yeah. Southern Georgia. So talk about that game and what it meant to you to go out and finish your football career with a win. Oh, it was great. It was actually probably really good for the team and the coaches. You know, uh, a lot of people just bringing people in, transfers from all over the place, uh, kind of like me, just got there a couple couple months ago. And for us to go out there and be able to win a bowl game is great for the team. You know, we had a lot of people transfer before the bowl game, had some injuries, and we had a lot of new people step up. And it was great to see all the young guys and just everybody in there, you know, compete and get the win and for me it's great just to end the season off on a great note and uh, just on to the next chapter you know. And he actually finishes off with 27 tackles on the year. He had five tackles in that game and a sack on the season as well. So now let's talk about how the next stage is going on. We're preparing for the NFL. After this what's the next steps of getting ready for your pro day and all that nice stuff? Uh, well, I'm going to head back to Nebraska and get all my training there. You know, I'm going to work with a uh, running coach. I'm going to work on all the drills and uh, just get ready. I'll do as much as I can for pro day back at, at, at Buffalo and just uh, put everything I got into it and see what happens. Uh, I don't really know what will happen after that, so just got to just keep going. Now, has there been any teams contacting you so far? Not yet, still too early? No, I don't know if any teams will, but... Uh, I'm just going to keep my head on focus, just keep training, and if they do, then that's great. If they don't, I'm just going to keep on the same route. Now, you said earlier how you're 30 years old, and you want to be kind of a special teams ace in the NFL. So you probably got a long shot to get drafted, but what are your expectations come draft weekend? You maybe not get drafted, but after yeah. that, what's going to happen? I'm just hoping to get on, uh, you know, just 
get an invite to uh, some training camps and maybe get on a practice squad. And that's kind of like my expectations. If there's anything above that, that'd be amazing. But right now, I, I fully expect just to uh, go to the pro day and hopefully someone will ask me to come to their camp and show them what I got. And I don't know what happens with that. All right, and you're from Las Vegas, so maybe go home and play with the Raiders. Is that a, a goal, a dream? <laughs> They want me, I'll go to any team. It doesn't matter. Any place it doesn't matter to me. Anybody that wants to bring me in, I can call home. I'd be great for that. All right, well, thanks for the time, Damian, and good luck going forward. Thank you.